Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second part of the night review of the new beautiful Peugeot 308 behind us. If I unlock the car you can see the beautiful LED matrix headlights, uh, very nice. In this video we're going to take a, an exterior and uh, interior details uh, look, so it's like a night review of the car. Uh, the day review is pretty long so I'm separating this one. Uh, if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe and click the little bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So without further ado, let's just check out the car. Keys in my pocket. If I approach the car, it's gonna register and it should turn on the lights. So you can see it kind of turns it on. If I go away from the car, it's gonna turn it off. Now uh, I'm gonna do a little walk around the car so you can see the profile of the car. It just looks very gorgeous and it just looks more muscular, I don't know. It also looks like it's lowered, but it's really not. It's standard. And I love the alloys. I love the skirt. So you can see when I walk away. Uh, but the car is just, it looks amazing. I mean, the French engineers really did a good job on this one. Now, when you come from the rear, it should also turn on because the key is in my pocket. But let's check the key. So this is the key. Uh, you have the... Uh, lock button on the top, unlock and unlock the cargo. There's no more light switch. And we have the new uh, Peugeot shield. Kind of looks more premium, but the key is still old. It just changed the shield. And I believe there's a physical key inside I mentioned in my day review. Um, I think they should change the key fob perhaps and uh, do something like longer, slimmer. Uh, I don't know. Something that. Uh, is a little bit new you can see the beautiful light gimmick it's a cool thing most premium cars have that um, i'm gonna come back to the rear just for a moment there's a puddle lights there and just another look of the profile it just the car is look looks amazing and then the front uh, led matrix headlights with the led claws you can also see over there look look at the brightness of that that's that's some performance. And I love the new mirrors, how they uh, go up turn signals. But yeah, okay. And this side profile light, it's just this, oh, it just looks good. Okay, uh, let's open the cargo space. It's above the badge, so it's a little rubber button. Press here. And if I back up, um, you can see the whole car. Now there's a decent street lights here, but you can see there's one LED light on the left there, but very good illumination inside. So it's quite okay. Let's close this up. And check the rear. Now I'm not gonna sit on the rear, but uh, you can see the lights on the top, very good illumination. And uh, the USB-Cs illuminate once the uh, ignition is on inside the car there's no footwell light there's no pocket lights on the rear doors and no ambient lights on the rear as well but let's get on the front uh, there are some ambient lights on the front but uh, sometimes they turn on sometimes they do not uh, there are pocket lights on the front there are footwell lights on the front and as you can see fairly good uh, elimination on the uh, front now I'm gonna jump in because it's freezing outside and I'll switch to a wide lens so you can see a lot better this would be the point of view so there's gonna be a night point of view review now press the start and we get the ambient lights okay now you're gonna get some uh, boring messages on the side there. Now before I come back, just to show you this uh, touch, oops, there you go. You can just touch on the top and it turns on the light. Now if I swipe once again, it turns off. It's an annoying message you get here. Maybe if you set up a profile, it gives you option to not show it again. Uh, but um, just, I'm gonna come back to the wide lens once more, zooming in. Okay, 
Uh, so the interior illumination is white. You have white buttons. And if you lock from the inside, you get this red. You can lock the rear. It's also red. So you can lock the rear windows. And over here, you have the front, well, heated windshield. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the car. There you can see that little dance of the lights. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but uh, yeah, definitely, I cannot tell on the camera. But uh, there's a little heaters and uh, sometimes uh, it looks a little funky, but uh, I guess you get used to it. Uh, never mind. Uh, over here, you can see amber light. This is for the the camera would focus. This is for the uh, front windshield. So it has little heaters. Maybe if I come closer here. Um, yeah, I don't think so. So let me see if I put my finger here. Maybe the camera will focus. Um, no, okay, I'll just form a focus if I focus on the finger. Um, but there's a heater, and you can actually in person see those little threads. And it's kind of annoying when there's traffic, and you, you can see like uh, this grid of small heaters in the dash, uh, or excuse me, in the windshield. Now, uh, Matrix LED headlights, uh, very bright. Uh, if you put them on automatic uh, they really uh, work they don't spread the beam like in the Volkswagen they just kind of finely um, increase the brightness or lower it and of course it creates shades uh, not to blind other drivers uh, and similar I just like the part when it switches on and off I might cut some video in so if I speed up with the car once you pass 30 kilometers, it turns on automatic long beam. And then if you slow down. Uh, okay, so the 3D cockpit looks stunning. Um, what else to say? I uh, love that part. Uh, steering buttons are white. Now, regarding this two screens, of course, you can control the brightness. It looks... Um, great honestly uh, the responsive of this screen is absolutely amazing and it just works good i love this uh it's very responsive the navigation is very responsive um, you have 3d buildings so look at this responsiveness and if i go to maybe here city center and you can see here like uh, the uptown uh, like 3d buildings and this really looks really looks good yeah so this is a massive improvement in the infotainment and everything works it works great uh, over here uh, if you press this one you have the max blow wow that was really max um, there's some amber lights on the side rear defrost and AC off, I guess. Also gives you a little light there. And these are the hazards. You can see from the inside, and you can see them on the top there. Now, um, this is a car shortcut. Um, okay, so you have the volume, uh, also illuminated. The charging pad illuminates. There's a green button once you put your phone, which is my camera, so I can't show you that. Engine start stop and then you have the park reverse neutral drive and you have the B for recuperation illuminates green and by the way there are two small lights here that uh, kind of illuminate this so if you have something here it actually illuminates this whole area uh, so it's kind of uh, nice you can put papers here so it like coffee cup you can see it actually and over here are the cup holders so there's not any illumination but the lights on the top uh, do the job and uh, this is a place where I like to put my smartphone so your passenger can put your smartphone up there or up there if they're charging and uh, driving modes uh, means just white so um, doesn't do any change now if I press uh, the brake 
uh, and put it to reverse. You can see it's also amber. And you can see the back and camera. And back and camera resolution is finally now uh, top notch. It's very sharp. There is a little film grain now because it's tonight, but uh, it's very good. And let me show you, if I move the steering wheel, it moves the camera in the corner and it also moves the projection with the steering wheel on your or of your trajectory if you reverse uh, you can see the car maps behind you stuff now if I put it to D you can see that it is actually um, green and if I put it back to park it's amber so that's uh, drive neutral reverse and park and you can turn off the brake uh, or the braking mode yeah braking mode is the recuperation mode um, okay and the camera you can here change to the wide view which is also good uh, the camera is a little bit low you can pl play here with the tones of the parking sensors brightness uh, contrast and so on and you can switch it off um, there's also when you come to a let's say like another car or a wall it kind of changes the angle and shows you the avatar of the car now um, USB-C illuminates this is C once again all the chargers are USB-C it does look like a USB-A it might confuse some people who are first time in the car and the glove compartment illuminates only when the ignition is on so you can see here there is a fairly good illumination ambient lights uh, there's only this like, kind of discrete lights and there's one here on the top it kind of reflects from the surface I think it's like underneath there and there is an option to customize those uh, lights and another thing the uh, you need to use the USB-C uh, in order to have the Apple CarPlay. And now, uh, colors, if I go to settings, okay, so it's obviously in the customization. You have a screen color, uh, and this one you can change that or that. It's kind of gray, blue, or green, so your choice um, a green color is kind of resting your eyes and then in the interior color so here you can switch it to the green now uh, once you're in a driving mode it switches also the colors I believe so um, let me just switch to the white lens uh, you can see those colors so we have this green and then this more like dark green light green then we have the red color actually yeah kind of red or kind of tone of pink, uh, white, and then some sort of um, slightly bluish, light blue, um, dark blue, and some sort of um, peach, and a violet, which also looks pretty cool. Um, I think I like the red one, but um, what do you think? And come back and uh, let me show you the Apple CarPlay so uh, sorry I forgot I didn't zoom out um, so let's plug in the Apple CarPlay so you can see Apple CarPlay appears you can press here and then it shows you uh, while I was in ways now it's sometimes a little bit laggy once uh, my phone is connected because it's the camera but you can see it has a nice uh, big layout so uh, that's an option and the screen has a very nice decent resolution so this is the brightness for the for the screen and here you can turn off the interior lights it, it also turns off the light on the top that I was mentioning so over here is the way you turn it on and you can control the brightness of these as well I guess actually no it's one on the top actually also includes the ambient lights but uh, first setting kind of switches off the light on the top and also controls the illumination of this 
uh, light on the top. Uh, also, your uh, seat belts change colors once you start driving, and then they switch off uh, once you exceed some sort of speed. Um, 3D cluster. Um, you can turn this off, and it just like looks like normal, or you can just give it a 3D look. Uh, it looks way better with the 3D, of course. And uh, that was it. Um, still trying to figure out if you can see the heaters I was mentioning. No, just the camera can't catch that. If I go on the top here, let me see if I can focus on that. Maybe, nope. It's just, oh, you can see them there. See those? That uh, like a grid in the reflection. That's it, yeah. So, that was the new 308. Uh, if you liked the video, smash the like button. Leave your comments below, how do you like the new 308? I think it's a gorgeous car. Definitely uh, feels more premium than before. And uh, if you liked the video, uh, you know, subscribe if you like the content to the channel. And as always, stay safe on the road and at home. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.